Hi everybody and welcome to Basic Chemistry. Uh, my name is Mary Purvis and I'm going to be your instructor for this course and welcome. I am so excited to share this information with you. Chemistry is everything we do. Everything from trying to get a stain out of your laundry to digesting your lunch is a chemical reaction. Um, you may not think about when you're frying vegetables or just trying to clean your hair. That's a chemical reaction. And we're going to talk about the basic rules of chemistry throughout this course. So the goal of this video today is I want to give you a little tour of the pieces and parts of the class, a little bit of an overview of what we're going to do in the first week or so. And uh, here we go. So I'm going to wander over to Canvas and show you how this is going to look. This is the first page of our class. A uh, little introduction. There's a picture of me, in case you forget what I look like. Contact information for me. If you want to go to the syllabus, it is online. But the syllabus, a um, couple important things I want to talk about. You're welcome to peruse this at your leisure. Standard grading scale, 90, 80, 70, 60. Everything is done by points. There's so many points for everything. And then you get a percentage out of those points and that's your grade. So that's a, a, a pretty simple thing. Um, we only have, a, we've got a couple stray thing, grades in there, an element quiz, an opening discussion. But aside from that, we are going to um, only have quizzes and study guides. Those are the big kind of grades we're going to have, and I'll talk about those more in a minute. But you're going to be allowed to drop one study, study guide grade and one quiz grade, and the computer will automatically do that for you. It will start doing this immediately, and I, I like having that happen because of the fact that everybody has a bad week, you're going to get sick, your kids are going to get sick, there's going to be a snowstorm, your car won't work, there's chaos happens in everybody's life, and the computer will just say, hey, everybody gets kind of a, a freebie and a goodie. So um, if that occurs early on, yay, it's already taken care of and it's already programmed into the computer. So feel free to look through that syllabus with more care if you'd like to, but let's wander further into that class. Now, I've got to make sure I get back to our class. There we go. Once you go to the first page, how you maneuver through Canvas is then you go next. The first few pages of Canvas are going to be general information, how this course is going to work. Um, for this class, we have a free online textbook. You do not have to buy the book. If you click on the link in the course, it will take you here. Um, this is a website. You do not have to log in at all. If you click on this, and I'm not going to write this minute, it will give you access to the content of the course. If you click on this little red button, you can download the entire book, put it on your laptop, put it on your computer, and read it at any point you want. If you click on this downloads button, it will give you options to print a version of the book for under 20 bucks if you prefer paper. Um, if you want to go to any one individual section of the book, this is kind of cool because it will take you right to that section and I'll show you how that is sort of programmed right into the textbook. So it's, it's kind of slick. The nice thing is you don't have to um, buy a textbook. You're going to need a calculator. Science involves some mathematics sometimes. Don't freak, it's not awful, but it is there. So you're going to need a calculator that can handle scientific notation. Something like 3 times 10 to the 4th is an example of scientific notation. If you have a calculator from a past class, odds are that will work just fine. And homework is going to be study guides that I'll show you in a minute, and you're going to submit those, upload those online. We don't have any major tests. Instead, we have a weekly quiz. I'll show you what those are like. And here's a little video of how you can submit some assignments that require you to write things out if you have questions on that. The next page of the course is a bunch of resources for you. Nobody knows everything. I certainly don't know everything. I will refer you to some of these resources, um, academic services, if you need help with 
some of the academic parts of the class. If it's having to do with content, come talk to me. This is my class. I will help you with the content. Um, if you have other issues, financial, um, just accessing support of other services, CVT, student services, is there to help. If it's technical, oh honey, I am not the goddess of techno technology. I know how to use it, but everybody's computer, laptop, iPhone is going to be different. We have a whole variety of people and I'll, I'll aim you here and these nice people are going to help you. Um, some information on how to view your grades in Canvas is there. Now, required materials and reference sheets. Everything is online, but I am going to really, really, really encourage you to, again, once more there is that textbook, um, I'm going to really encourage you to print one, two, three, these three documents. Now, these three documents are very important in chemistry. You need a good copy of the periodic table. This is the Bible for chemistry. And so here is a high definition. It's almost three megabytes. It's a really good, clear copy. Get to a printer, print this common ion sheet, another piece of paper you're going to want next to you as you go through the course, and this unit conversion sheet. So get to a printer if you can and get these printed as soon as you can in the course. Um, when you submit a lot of homework, I'm going to ask that you do a batch scan. Uh, you can scan things in with your phone, a lot of phones. If you have an iPhone, it's built into the note section of your phone. Um, if you have an Android phone, Adobe Scan has been recommended. Microsoft Office Lens has been recommended to me as free apps you can get to scan documents in. Again, I'm not the queen of technology, but there's a lot of videos online to assist you with that. When we get to the calculators, if you have challenges working your calculator, here are some tutorials how to work your calculator, and you can find others. It is your responsibility, my friend, to figure out how to work your own calculator. Again, lots of different tools out there, and you're going to have to be able to work those tools. Now that's the kind of the front matter of the course. Let's actually get into the information. Chapter one, week one, we're gonna talk about the scientific method and matter. Matter is stuff. The stuff that makes up you, me, cats, dogs, and kittens. Um, for every week in this class, there are gonna be notes. Now I teach with PowerPoints. Um, this class is very, very image heavy. Lots and lots of pictures. You can print these, in, they are available through the class in a Google Doc, and so you are welcome to click on this link. It will take you right to that Google Doc, and you can print the notes for the course. It, within every week, there are direct links to the sections in our online textbook that we're covering that week. So if you don't want the full book in front of you, you don't want to download it all at once, I'm going to spool out exactly what sections you want to refer to for that week. Um, most of the learning from me is going to come in the form of videos. So here's the videos. Watch one, answer the questions inside the PowerPoints as we go along, and then periodically, things I can't show you, some really cool demonstrations. It's chemistry. There's cool demos. I'm going to have some that I'm going to pull in from YouTube. And that's how you're going to learn. You're going to, you're going to take notes and go through lecture just like we were sitting together in a regular classroom. We're going to have a class discussion. I want to get to know you as a person. Why are you taking this class? What's your future goals? What's your future career? And so please fill this out, easiest 10 points you're going to get all semester long. Um, when you are done with that, once a week we're going to have a study guide. Now that is the only homework you are going to have all week. And every week the study guide is going to look... Oop, I was at the bottom. It's going to look something like this. It is going to be keyed directly to the notes that I'm giving you, and it is kind of like a pre-quiz. These are the things that I think are important. I want you to practice what we're doing, and for example, I want you in this section, what's a mixture, what's not a mixture, what's an element, what's a compound. Can you tell 
the difference. And these are the kind of questions you're going to have on the quiz. Now, prior to the quiz doing this, you're going to say, hey, Mary, what do I have the right answers or not? So for every study guide, I also post the key. So after you do the study guide, you can look at the key. Now I know there's some little humans out there who are going to say, ah, I don't have to actually think. I can just copy. Well, yeah, you can. But trust me, when you get to the quiz, you are going to crash and burn like a big ball of fire. And that won't be fun or nice. I really, really, really want you to learn. And that's why I put the resources out there. The good students, and I know 99% of you are really excellent students, are going to want to use this as a pre-quiz. Test yourself. Do you know what you're doing? And for example, on the first study guide, I'm going to ask you to mathematically do some conversions of Celsius to Fahrenheit to Kelvin. And I am showing you how to do this because you're going to have to do that on that quiz. So download that study guide, print it or type in the answers and then upload that for a grade. Then continue with the learning for the week. Watch some more video videos and fill in the blanks on your notes. And when we get done with the learning for any particular week, and then you are going to have a quiz. Now, all of the quizzes are going to be multiple choice. They're fully multiple choice. Um, the first quiz is going to be uh, da, da, 26 points. There are 13 questions. They're worth two points each. And they are really, really very, very simple and very, very easy. Now, all quizzes are going to be timed. Some of you are going to hyperventilate when I say that. Timed quizzes, Mary. Oh, my gosh. What are you going to do to me? It's not going to be that bad because I kind of know how long this stuff should take. My goal, folks, is I really want to make you prepared for your nursing classes, your radiography classes, your, your ultrasound classes, your dental hygiene classes, whatever you're going into next. Your HESI test which means you have to learn this stuff. You can't just get through, you have to learn this. So I want you to study ahead of time, then take the quiz. I know you're gonna have your notes next to you. I know you're gonna have that stuff in front of you. But when you take the quiz, what I'm gonna ask you to do is go through it, answer all of those you really, really know, and then, I'm not stupid, you got your stuff in front of you, then look up the things you have to look up but I'm crunching you a little bit on time, so you have to study it ahead of time. I'm not going to give you three hours for a quiz so that you can look up every question on Google. That's not how learning works, all right? It's going to be a great semester. Um, as we go through the entire semester, week after week, we are going to have exactly the same flow. Um, week one is classification of matter. Week two we're going to do the atomic structure in the periodic table. And every week we have some lectures, a study guide, and a quiz. Week three, we're going to do isotopes, radioactivity, and the periodic table. And look, a study guide and a quiz. Week four, we're going to do ionic bonding. And look, a study guide and a quiz. So I try and make the workload pretty much the same from week to week to week because I know, I get it. You've got jobs, you've got kids, you've got life. And if this was a face-to-face -face class, it would be two hours of lecture a week. That means you and I would be in a classroom two hours a week. So in an online environment, expect that watching the videos and following along with the videos is gonna take you about two hours. Um, sometimes the videos are gonna be shorter and sometimes the videos are gonna be longer, but never more than two hours. Um, and then you're gonna have the study guide to fill out and the quiz to take. So it's never gonna take you more than four hours unless you need, really need a lot of help with mathematics and you've got a really poor scientific background. And I'll be honest, some people, it's been a long time. It's been a while since you've studied some of these things. Along the way, if you've got questions, please ask, and I'll be back. Aside from the regular videos, I'll give you a little weekly update of what's going on. All right? Have a grand, grand time. Look forward to seeing you soon. Okay? Bye-bye.